Well, for one thing, say Ferris! Another thing, reason I do that is because I am doing another review for another John Hughes movie. This one pretty in pink, which doesn't have Matthew Broderick, sadly, but it's an 80s high school themed movie. Not as well known as Ferris Bueller because of the kinda cliche overtones, but still an amazing movie. And in some ways I'd prefer it over Ferris Bueller, in some ways. Well, it's pretty in pink, and uh, it's about, you know, this girl, who's not the best looking girl I've seen, but that's kind of the point of the movie. And she gets asked to the prom by some rich dude, and she's kind of torn between him and another person who's a friend of hers named Ducky, played by John Cryer from Two and a Half Men. And also, she has to deal with James Spader's character, who's kind of a rich jerk of a human being, a bully. And, yeah, that's the basic plot of the movie. She wants to... She wants to find the right dude, but she just doesn't know who to choose, even though it's quite clear she has no interest in Ducky. And, you know, eventually it all plays out as a typical teen romance. Typical, but better than Twilight or Titanic. So, you know, can't complain. It's actually a romance movie that's high school themed that I actually enjoyed watching and actually got into. And was half sentimental about it, even though I don't get sentimental much anymore. Because, you know, like, let's reference Titanic. This is something similar to what I, we did in Ferris Bueller's Day Off review. Titanic has Leonardo DiCaprio, a what girls call gorgeous heartthrob. And, you know, I mean, just because a guy is gorgeous doesn't mean he's amazing, you know? And this movie has, well, what girls have said, the ugliest dudes they've ever seen in it. You know, it really gets it across that love ain't all about looks, you know. I have to admire it for that. And, you know, acting, it has great acting in it. Only complaints is that, like, Ferris Bueller was an 80s movie, but it's kind of survived time in terms of cinematography and stuff. This one didn't really do that. Because, you know, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, they remastered it, redid it, you know, and it worked in modern days as well as the 80s. This one doesn't quite pull that off, so... I couldn't consider this one a classic in the way Ferris Bueller's Day Off was, but it's a pretty darn good movie. My only complaint is the darned ending. I don't know. You just have to watch and find out. And people have different opinions, but I hated the ending. It, um, it did avoid cliche, no doubt, but it just wasn't really my cup of tea. And some strong scenes in this is when John Cryer's character gets into a fight with James Spader's character in the hallway of the school. That was pretty hilarious. <laughs> and surprisingly, John Cryer didn't get his tail kicked. And another good thing about this is, you know, each of the characters have their own forms of background, you know. They're not just typical love story jerk characters like others. Like, even the douchebag has his own has his own moral, you know, you can't really hate him that much, like you could Cal in Titanic, or maybe Jacob in Twilight, even though girls don't hate Jacob, obviously. But yeah, I have to admire this movie for that, and despite the title pretty in pink, it's a good movie, even for guys to like. Hmm, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe 8. Yeah, it ain't as high as Ferris Bueller's Day Off, no doubt. But I rate it pretty darn high of a movie. It's one of the better movies I've seen this year than most. And it has a lot of heart, a lot of funny moments, good 80s vibe, and the soundtrack in particular was phenomenal in that movie. A lot of people, when it was released, hail the soundtrack as being great. Um... Like, you can tell it's 80s music, but it's pretty darn good 80s music, basically. Kind of like the music in The Karate Kid, you know, or even Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Or Tough Turf, or Outsiders, you know, it's pretty good. And this one, I don't, I mean, I want to recommend this one, but I don't want to. Like, hardcore fanatics of modern day love stories like Nicholas Sparks, or... You know, Twilight, stuff like that, teen movies. I don't think they would enjoy this that much because, you know, it's so down-to-earth and realistic. 
But people with open minds like me, or my bro, or anybody else, you know, I'd say give it a shot. You won't be disappointed, maybe slightly, but overall you'll probably enjoy it. And remember, he will always be a duck man. And before I conclude this, save Ferris, you freaks! Okay, later.